Pisces, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 4th to the 10th of July 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So, Pisces, if you haven't already, go to my homepage and click on the playlist tab. Every star sign has their folder there with the readings, and I've uploaded July monthly readings as well for each sign. So, go check that out too. Okay, Pisces. Overall, temperance, love that. Can be dealing with the Sagittarius, going with the flow, not forcing the issue, doing things in moderation, and keeping things manageable and moving forward at a steady pace. Brilliant. Past energies, Princess of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra in the past. There was an offer on the table here. Um, it was a very, um, when I say a balanced offer, I think a very fair offer that came to you. It may have been financial, it didn't have to be, but I feel like there has been this offer made in the past, which was very fair and um, paid off well for you. Present energies, you have the Hierophant, Six of Cups, the Sun. Some peer pressure here around something that has gone on in the past and I feel like there may be some peer pressure that this as I said, this balanced offer in the past worked out in your favour and um, and it's, take, it's still focused, that focus is still there on that past. Possibly what, it's hard to explain, what actually built up to this offer being made and um, there's still a lot of focus around that part of the past. Okay, but there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of joy, things are falling into place. There may be a bit of pressure being put on you around, um, I feel again, it may be a financial offer that's been in the past here and um, a lot of pressure being put on what to do, how to use that, <laughs> yeah, as people tend to do sometimes. Okay, but um, you've got control of this. Future energies, Prince of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you have got your eye on somebody here. This may be an existing relationship. It may be somebody brand new. This offer of love is here. It is a whole new chapter that is beginning. So again, even if it's an existing relationship, a brand new chapter. But it may also be like a bolt out of the blue, somebody unexpected brand new love right here but I feel you do have your eye on this person and you are also focusing on where the two of you are heading and you are going with the flow you're not forcing the issue right there wow Pisces so let's clarify everything here temperance overall for the week love that Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Princess of Swords. Yeah, even though you're going with the flow, it's kind of like taking some action, bring it on, get this fresh new start off the ground. There is partnership, collaboration here, relationship of some sort, teamwork. Putting the plans into place, being able to clear the crap out from the past, I always say, and focus on building something solid from the ground up. But you're well and truly ready to get this going. Past energies, Princess of Pentacles, you get the Ten of Cups, the World, King of Pentacles. Divine timing, things do happen for a reason. There's emotional contentment and happiness here and there's success and getting control of finances. Again, this offer, I feel maybe some financial offer here that does come out and work out in your favour and it came at the right time with the world there as well. Six of Pentacles. You get the Ten of Swords, the Star, Nine of Wands. Be dealing with an Aquarius, um, but the end of a painful cycle. This offer has come through at the right time, and it's brought an end to a painful cycle that you have been through. A lot of obstacles you've had to overcome, a lot of bullets that you've had to dodge. 
to get onto solid ground here, but now being able to refocus. What do you want here? Who do you want? Your dreams, your wishes. And here's sweet justice. These throughout. Oh, double dose. Justice, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. It's well and truly paid off in your favor. I hope that's for all of you. But being proud of how far you've come emotionally. It's been a hell of a hard, lot of hard work that you have had to put into this. Um, paying attention to details and um, not losing focus of what else is happening around you. But I feel like it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of focus to get this outcome in your favor. But a double dose of justice, brilliant. Present energies, you have the Hierophant, do get the Devil, Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess. This outside pressure, I feel, is actually unhealthy energy. As I said, somebody's forcing you, trying to force you to do things a certain way here. Especially when you've had this brilliant outcome past in your past energies here. Um, it's been a hell of a long journey, but some sort of negative, unhealthy energy, peer pressure that has been put on you here. But you have got your guard up and you're not wanting to um, be involved, get everything on top of you here. You are managing, I'm going to say, managing your energy here to a point where you're kind of shutting this energy down as quickly as possible. Um, because it has been a long journey to actually get to this stage. Wow, Pisces. And I feel like there's, there's still this focus from the past here then with the Six of Cups, Six of Wands, Three of Cups, Four of Swords. You have something to celebrate. As I said, it's been a long journey, um, but there is this victory here. I feel it comes back to this justice. It is a victory for you and you are able to celebrate here. And um, But it's also taken its toll on you to the point where you do need a breather. You need some time for yourself. And just to, as I said, knock all this negative energy on the head and um, and sort that out once and for all. Always say legally and morally, but looking after number one. But you do come out with the sun here. Brilliant. You get the two of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Yeah, there's love there for the taking. There is success here for the taking and getting control of finances, possibly off this offer back here in the past. But you have been pulled in different directions and that's where this negative energy and peer pressure has been coming in, trying to force you to do things one, you know, this way or that way. And um, now it's time back to Back to balance, back to your inner alignment with that Four of Swords healing there. Wow. Pisces. Future energies. Prince of Cups. This is love. You have the Hermit, Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Someone's not giving up on you here. It may be not you giving up on someone else here when it comes to love. There is an emotional attachment that does need to be walked away from and I feel it's this Hierophant, this Devil energy back here, but you know that this is trying to hold you back and doing that soul searching allows you to see the light at the end of the tunnel and what can be left behind and what you are actually starting to move forward towards. But digging deep, not giving up, not quitting when it comes to this love. Um, Giving up is not an option you want to look at. You want this new chapter, Ace of Pentacles. You get the Tower, Ace of Wands, the Empress. Yeah, definitely a new beginning happening here. Releasing a whole lot of energy that has been holding you back and bringing you down here and building something solid from the ground up. But that ground up is a new beginning, a new chapter. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Focusing on this new chapter, very aware of how you feel, very aware of what's going on around you, but also um, may have been waiting for an apology from back here, may never arrive, I always say. And you may be aware that now you're able to release that energy, let that go, and focus on this whole new beginning, this whole new journey. And it's what you want, possibly who you want, as I said in the underlying reading, the star. 
You get the Princess of Cups. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You do have options here um, around your dreams and your focus and your wishes. But again, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning, new chapter. It is starting here. It may be a completely different option and chapter than what you would usually take. Those repeat patterns, those first things that look good, always say everybody does that. But it may be now looking at a different option here and a different option when it comes to love. But um, it is who you've got your eyes set on and, um, and your wishes there. You do want this new beginning. As I said, maybe an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new, but um, there is a new chapter. Bring it on! That Princess of Swords you clarified overall, as well as the Ace of Swords. You've got every Ace here. So let's see what the universe has. Pisces, get the Four of Swords, Princess of Cups, Prince of Wands. Yeah. You're focused on this love here, okay? Maybe somebody with an age gap, but again, taking some time out for yourself, looking after number one, in order to look at this, um, these options, and in order to go with the flow, go with the ups and the downs. You're dealing with temperance overall. We talked about going with the flow, but the flow can sometimes get a bit out of control. <laughs> so it is saying, you know, dig deep, stay on board here, but um, do look after number one is your main priority as well. So Pisces, I've gone back to open to Spirit Oracle, we'll see what that has to say to finish. And then it's getting a bit dark and, I'll, and I will finish. <laughs> back in the back short and sweet reading I'll do that synchronicity surprises you recognize the calling cards of spirit love that brilliant brilliant with this reading so moments of synchronicity grab your attention you notice how frequently unlikely coincidences occur during your day your guides and loved ones in spirit are communicating with you Pay attention, affirm their symbols and signs. They want you to know they are near. They want you to know they are near. The universe conspires to support and uplift you. Give thanks for the calling cards of your spiritual helpers. This strengthens your relationship. Brilliant, love that. You know, that's like um, the clock, 1111. I see it all the time at 1010 10 usually, rather than 1111 11. and um, it is. It's got like, have a look at the angel numbers if any of these synchronicities are around numbers. But it can also be, um, I like, and my dad passed away five years ago when I see butterflies. That's my dad. And um, so it is not just numbers that those synchronicities do, do pop up as. Yeah, so Pisces, that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.